On Spotlight tonight, what promises to be the blockbuster film of the year, 127 hours, and we've the lowdown on what's going to be big on the box. Hello and welcome to Spotlight. 2011 is going to be an amazing year for entertainment, especially when it comes to films, music and TV shows. This year on the big screen, be excited to see more of Harry Potter, The Green Hornet, Paul with our love Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, Scream 4 and Hangover 2. We'll also be seeing The Way Back, The Roommate, The Mechanic starring Jason Statham and yet another Pirates of the Caribbean, Part 4. Hold on to your seats. Now, our first guest tonight is Spotlight's film critic, who will be reviewing 127 Hours. Please welcome Gavin Mann. Hello. 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 All right. Now, can you sum up the film for us in three words? Hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, exciting, um, gripping and realistic. Excellent. Thank you very much. More from him later. 127 Hours is the story of a mountain climber, Aaron Ralston, based on his book Between a Rock and a Hard Place. It tells the story of his adventure in Canyonland back in 2003 and the horrific event which occurred when he cut off his right arm. Let's take a peek at the trailer without the gory bits. Good morning, everyone. It is 7 o'clock here in Canyonland, USA. Hey, Aaron. Mom still has not heard from you. Will you just call her, please? I'll talk to you soon. And this morning, on the boulder, we have a very special guest, Aaron Ralston! Oh gosh, it's a real pleasure to be here. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey! You lost? I'm a guide. What do you say? <laughs> See, I'm something of a big and hard hero. All you have to remember is that everything will be okay. Good film. What did you make of it? Yeah, I thought it was a brilliant film. Um, I was really happy with it. I thought um, everything about it was really good. I mean, Danny Boyle was the next big film after Summer of Millionaire, so it had quite a lot of hype leading up to it, but I thought it lived up to that hype and it was good. So you think it's worth all the praise it's been getting? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said, it, it was always going to be quite a tough um, call for Danny Boyle, like I said, after being um, Summer of Millionaire, because obviously that got a lot of acclaim and won a lot yeah. of awards. And it, it was a very good film, but Personally, I think it was better than that. I think he's um, lived up to it and achieved more. So I'm impressed with Danny Boyle's work every time. So mm. it's good. Um, the whole film was based around James Franco's character and he was pretty yeah. much the, the central figure for an hour and a half. Do you, how do you think he did that? Um, yeah, I think, I think he does really well. I mean, it's got to be quite tough for him because obviously it is just him pretty much for an hour and a half. I mean, there's some supporting actors in there so often, but majority of the time it is just him by himself. Um, he copes it really well and considering he's not like the... Most well-known actor, he's only had a couple of supporting roles. I mean, the only one I can come to think of is in Spider-Man. Mm. Um, so he's not the biggest name in the world, but I think he's probably going to be more well-known after this because I, th I think he does it really well and he does the character really well. I think he portrays Aaron Ralston very good. Excellent. Yeah. Um, in the VT there, you can see the moment when the boulder falls on his arm and there's yeah. been a lot of talk about that gory scene. Yeah. What did you think of it? Um, yeah, it was gory. Um, mm. It's probably the best thing I say about it. I mean, I, I think if you, you've got to kind of expect it from that kind of film, because it is a gritty, mm. realistic film, and it's kind of what Danny Boyle does. Um, he doesn't really hold back. So it's very important to the story. It's not like he just puts it in there for the fun of it. No. Um, it's very um, like true to what actually happened. And obviously, Aaron Ranson, the real life um, Aaron Ranson, when he cut his own arm off, he couldn't actually just look away and not have it. So he kind of yeah. put it in there to make it seem more realistic. and portray it like it really was and he does it he does it well so who do you think he deserves an oscar for his performance <sighs> tough question <laughs> um 
Definitely deserves a nomination. Um, I personally, I probably would give it to him because I think he does mm -hmm. it really well. Like I said, he's on his own in a film, pretty much the own, like leading role without many supporting actors. It's got to be quite a tough job, and I think, I think he does the character so well. I think he deserves to get like kind of awarded for it because I mean, obviously, there's a lot of tough competition with um, the King's Speech being nominated yeah, for so many awards and Colin Firth being up for um, best support leading actor as well. So. Who knows, but I personally would give it to him. <laughs> okay, Gavin, thank you very much. No problem. And next week, Gavin will be reviewing the King's Speech here on Spotlight, so be sure not to miss it. And now, TV. This year, there will be a host of new exciting shows and series. Let's have a look at what's coming up. Right, so what did you think of all that? I think it all looks really good. This new series of Skins is looking very interesting. I've never seen it, so... How can you not have seen it? I don't it? know, I just never have. Oh, OK, well, this new series has got new characters, so okay. it's new plots. It's looking good. I've seen the first series of Being Human. There's a mm. new series out now. Yeah, it's now. Have you started watching it? I haven't caught you up haven't? yet. Oh, you useless. need to get on it. There's another little mini-series as well, which is looking good. OK, and obviously the new series of Doctor Who. Looks perfect. I'm so looking Definitely forward to it. Definitely not going to miss it. Now it's time to welcome on the spotlight one of the new and upcoming bands of 2011, Robin and JJ. Hello. 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 All right. All right. Hello. All right. Hey. So, how would you describe your band? A mixture of influences. Yeah. Really, yeah. A mixture. <laughs> bowl of like diff different music. So okay. Like JJ, I just like to play heavy riffs and jump around. Yeah. <laughs> How did you guys get together? So really in the pub. Yeah. So it's, it's just it's just one of those, you know. Drunken nights out. Yeah. 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 in the practice room with some guitars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but JD, it's all yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> what happened there? So what are your influences? You said you're you're a bit different, aren't you? So have you got different influences from each of you? Yeah, I'm a lot. Well, as I said, I'm a lot heavier. Yeah. Of hardcore emo sort of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, never have and yeah, I'm <laughs> just I'm just a weird mix of things. I'm really into my blues and funk at the moment, so oh. it's uh, it's causing some conflict. So. <laughs> <laughs> so where can fans find your music? Um, sort of anywhere really. You know, we've got the you know general MySpace uh, page, Facebook page, and the SoundCloud page, and all yeah. that. Where you can listen to music and that. And if you want to download it, um, it's all on like iTunes and Amazon and stuff. So it's excellent. What are we going to be typing in to find you? Uh, Robin and JJ Experience. Experience, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Have you got any upcoming gigs planned for the year? Um, not at the moment, we're just locked away in the practice rooms. Yeah, no. so I can record it recording away in that lot. Seeing That's any the... daylight at all? Not really, no. not really. There's <laughs> too many lights in there. It's <laughs> messing with us. Okay, Excellent. guys, thank you very much. Thank no problem. You. Thank you. Um, while Robin and JJ set up to play, let's look ahead to some upcoming hits. Personally, I can't wait for new albums from White Lies and New Yorkers The Strokes. Have you heard their music? I haven't, no, no, sorry. Not really my thing. I'm more of a Ben Folds kind of person. Ben Folds, that piano. Yeah, but it's like rock piano. It's I been, haven't really listened piano. to it. Oh, he's, he's playing the Guildhall in Southampton end of February, if okay. you want to come along and try it out. Let's see if I can. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> also, you can expect an album collaboration from Kanye West and Jay-Z, Dr. Dre's Detox album, and there has been a rumour that Radiohead will be releasing a new album this year too. Exciting stuff. Right, now to play us out is Robin and JJ. Enjoy and see you next week. Your suspicion lies with fear. Your direction is so unclear. Trying to thought is starting to bring me down. It's a matter of time before we hit the ground You got what you wanted There's nothing more to say I don't know what you want to hear You and I are close to the line 
This so-called situation is above my head Do you know where you stand? Get to pay some attention and fall in line Gonna be my last resort Tishin a drone in many words. Never gonna give up, never lose this game. No, never gonna give up and never lose this game. You got what you wanted. There's nothing left to say. I don't know what you want to hear. You and I to the line This so-called situation is above my head Do you know where to stand? Situation is above my head.